Hi, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. I want to talk about this little knife. It's a little Stanley knife. It's a great little craft knife. And I want to show you a few tips. Let's have a look. So when you're... This is the... I've got to introduce you to it, haven't I? This is the Stanley folding pocket knife. And it's a great little knife. The blade's got enough flex in it, but not... It's not as... Um, it's a little bit more flexible than a Stanley knife, than the traditional Stanley knife. This is great for marking out. So when, you're, when you've gone from doing things with a pencil like this, and you decide you need to raise your game, this is one of the best knives out of there, I think. You can drop it onto the line. Right, and that's it. Nice, nice line there now. But if you've had yours for as long as I've had mine, you'll, you'll have forgotten that um, a really good feature of this isn't just the fact that you pull this end, you pull this end, you fold the knife in and let go, you pull the end out again and the blade comes out. If you've had your long knife as long as I've had, and this has had a bit of a clean today because uh, it's been a while, I actually thought... Have they been smart enough to put a spare blade in there? And I was thinking, you know, if they do put a spare blade in, that would be brilliant. So you undo that screw. You can undo this one as well. And I would do this. I would take the whole thing apart. I don't see the point in half folding it out. Anyhow, that comes out like that. And you can see they have put a spare blade in, which is great. To get the spare blade out, you just slide it that way a little bit, turn it upside down and get it out. As you can see, mine's got a bit of rust on it. Go over that in a minute. But what I like to do with my blade to keep it in good, good condition, let's take that out. Let's show you what I do, some of the things I do to keep all of this good. So the one thing I do is I don't... This is still the original blade. I've had this about six seven years and I'm still on the original blade which just shows how good they are but the reason I'm still on the, the original blade isn't because it's blunt it's because I'm sharpening it so I don't sharpen as in go to the stones with it I don't really let it get that blunt let me sort this screw out what I do is I get my strop and I put my finger on the back of the blade. Let me show you what I'm doing. Put my finger on the on the back of the blade, on the side of the blade there. Hold it at that's what 12 degrees or so. Keep my finger there so to hold the blade, stop it blending bending too much, and go down the stone. When you've been down the stone, sorry, and go down the strop. When you've been down the strop about 30 or 40 times, turn it over, go back the other way. Now, what you can see now is, get some of the muck off, you can see it's quite polished. You can see the edge, you can see how old polished it is now. It's a great knife, cuts really well. So to keep it in good condition, you can do that. Another thing you can do, another thing you can do is get yourself one of these Gary Flex box blocks. If you see the rust on there, just by going over with the Gary Flex box block, you can get all that rust off. It must be, it's the first time I've had the blade out today, so it must be because. Um, I've got it damp somewhere along the line. 
I don't think I've dropped it in any water, but you never know. So you can go over the blade. Keeping away from the sharp edge, really. I mean, I'm doing that and keeping it flat. I'm not going near that sharp edge. If I want a sharpness, then I can just put it on here. It's actually easier to hold in the knife, look. So now we can see that's all restored in good condition. So that's great. What I can do now is just open this back up. As you can see, it doesn't take long to um, take it apart. Take that side off. If this does part does come out, there's a spring there. Uh, the bottom of the spring will sort of fall away. Look, bottom of the spring will fall away like that. The bottom of the spring needs to hit against this little bit here, this little step there. So what I'll do is I'll just show you what I did. I put that against that spring like that, pulled it back into place. Job done. Then to put the blade back in, lift that bit, put it over there, and do you lift that bit? No, I don't think you do. And to put the blade back in. So what's happened here is the little rotating wheel that the blade fixes onto had just gone over the 180 degrees that it spins around so I had to mess with it to get it back so that that little slot that pin where the blade attaches um, gets back lined back up and then I can put the blade back on So pop the spare blade back in there like that. This is all sitting nicely. Spring is sitting nicely there. Put the case back together. Sometimes find it easier to wind the screw backwards first before you wind it in to stop it cross threading. It just helps sometimes. Don't tighten it too tight because it'll affect how it swings around. It's still a bit too tight. There we go, it feels better. There you go, that's it. Great little little knife. Great for sorting dovetails out because when you're marking your dovetails and you're getting right right into the tail, say you say you've got your tail going in, you can get right into the corners with it. Anyhow, that's what I use. Thanks for watching.